What's up, everybody? It's Easy. Welcome to everyone's favorite time of the year in Clash of Clans. It's Clashmas. We can't resist. Got we got a bunch of stuff going on this year. We got the clan games that, that have just started, and we had the return of the clan gem packs, so you can share the wealth with those less fortunate than yourself. We had the return of the Ice Wizard, and we also have something else that I forget now because it was about thirty seconds ago. <laughs> well, Alright, so first off, we have a few things. Uh, clan games. We went through the, got the, through the first clan game. And here's a picture of some of the rewards that we got from, I don't know, one of my accounts. So you can see in the first one, I think it went up to 10,000 points, which was really easy for, for us to get. Now this next one, I think they tripled the time and tripled the, the rewards. So that was good. So that, I, I'm assuming that we're gonna get a lot more stuff for that. So, what I wanted to go over though was there's a wide range of difficulty as far as the clan games go. Uh, here's a shot of the, of the website, which by the way, the website is www.clashmadeeasy.com. We already have all the stuff from the, from the clan games in there. It, but there's a lot of content from these clan games. I had no idea until we started loading them up. It's got to be like 170, 180 pages worth of stuff on, on the website now. And there is a huge difference in the difficulty level from the regular to the to the to the more difficult challenges and so therefore don't think you can just uh, choose any one of the challenges and just go for it it's not that easy at all uh, matter of fact I think some of the more difficult challenges were on the builder base at least at least for me because the builder base is a challenge it was challenging for me to win every single match um, I think that the I hit, you know, well, this is going to what, what we have here. Uh, this right here was. This is. I need my glasses. <laughs> this is to, to destroy the, the Tesla towers. I think you had to destroy eight in an hour to get the the top prize, which was 150 points. That goes towards that uh, 30,000. I think you need. So I think now you have you can get up to 2,000 per person instead of 500 goes to 2,000. Uh, now the eagle artillery that wasn't quite as difficult. I think you had to get two in the first hour uh, for for the hardest level. But now when you get into the builder base stuff, that's where it becomes a lot a, a, a lot trickier to get it. And now keep in mind that there's three different levels for the multiplayer, which is your home village, and there's two different levels for the builder base. On, on the multiplayer, you have the the regular, then you have the small, then you have the intense. But when you get into the builder base, you only have the regular and the intense. And I believe on this challenge here, the regular... I'm trying to read this. It's hard for me to read um, anything that's over 30, 30 inches away. <laughs> but I, I believe you had to get five stars within... Or five wins within one hour. And yes, on the builder base, it's, you know, your, your troops don't take that long to build. So you can attack probably, I think, once every five or eight or ten minutes or whatever it is. But, to but let's say if you attack once every 10 minutes, that means, and you have to get, you have to get five wins. That means you have to win five out of six. So, and that's if you're attacking once every 10 minutes. Maybe you can attack faster, maybe it's every five or six minutes, I don't know. But I know that was a lot, that was a lot harder. Um, for everyone, really, not just me. Uh, I mean, I know I suck at it, but everyone was having a hard time. Now, something else. This is the time of year where you will find these massive, massive scores out in, in the multi-universe. And you'll see here, this first attack is done by Flex. Uh, what we're trying to do here in, the, in some of these replays, which actually, this is, just I'll mention this, this is part one of two. This video was actually, ended up being 25 minutes long, so we, got, we, we cut it in half. And we're gonna put it out in two different parts. That way, no one has to not, no one has to watch 25 minutes. I know that's hard to get people to do, even if it was uh, your life depended on it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he's using the the Bowler Valk, which is actually if you look at the top 100 players, pretty much all of them have the Bowler Valk or Laloon right now. And I, this this will change. 
this is going to change now that the Inferno Towers are, are have been nerfed. Uh, granted, I think all the players at the top of, uh, the top of the league they they understand what they have to do, and what you have to do is switch your Inferno Towers to single target mode, and then deal with the overwhelming troops. Uh, I, I believe you're going to see the witches come back. You're going to see the miners come back, and, and I mean heavily. Um, I already I've already seen um, Power Bangers. I've done a video on the GBHB or whatever that is, uh, with basically ga uh, giants, healers, bowlers, healers, and that's it. they're able to three star Town Hall 11 with that. That was a Town Hall 9 attack. So there's already been a, a diverse bunch of changes taking place because the multi target Infernos are not able to stop much. Now, again, I don't see this. Ha I don't see this staying like this for too long. Now, the the goal was from Superstar right from the start is to make it easy to attack. Uh, mission accomplished. It has been a lot easier to attack. And on top of that, there are more. There's a wide range of attacks that are able to use in Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. So all all part of the plan, all part of the goal. And, and keep in mind, the reason for this is a perfect example. Um, Ezekiel in the last four days has been attacked five times. And now he's a Titan player, so five five attacks on him, and probably has done thirty attacks, maybe forty attacks. So as the player, you get to enjoy forty attacks with a much looser parameters as far as on on the attack. Uh, you know, uh, people are bringing the jumps. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, bringing the heal spells for the Infernal Tower. So there is a change from what we were doing to what we are doing now. Uh, but there's not too big of a change now something else you will notice though Is that you're gonna find a lot of the inferno tower set to single target and there's no heal spell that will help you through a single target inferno You have to freeze it or you have to use uh, your your hero ability and if uh, the Single target inferno catches your king. Uh, it's it's gone unless you, unless you take it out before it burns the king down so th for the single target infernos that they're gonna become a lot more valuable and people are going to have to learn how to adjust their bases to make it more difficult for players to get to the single target infernos and for them to have a little bit more longevity because as it is now i think the multis are just not gonna unless they change the amount of damage that they do which that may happen may happen soon i don't know uh then people are just aren't going to use the multi-target infernos unless they just don't understand what the update do it does and they're not in that particular circle you know people there are a lot of players that don't pay much attention from day to day they just play they don't they don't watch and watch the YouTube videos they don't really pay much more attention than just playing they may not they may not get it they may be in a clan that doesn't get it so you'll see the multi-target infernos on them but uh, for the most part all of your good players are gonna switch to single target I, I really feel that way so this is one of uh, the new players sick lad he is from an, a former great clan, uh, form, former great clan, clan in there with Terminator, which I actually have several videos on way back at the beginning of 2017. They were called Ultimate Goal. Uh, that clan has now been dismembered, and we have got we were fortunate enough to, to get quite a few of them to come to our clan. Uh, he's one of them, just a great player, a strong Town Hall 11. And another big score here this time of year we will find we're hoping at least this year that we get the the, the Covenant 2 million raid 1 million each a gold and elixir last year we came close I think we got to 900,000 each we got that uh, I think flexibly we got that which is also on the on the channel too so we're hoping to get that 1 million of each I think that there have been how I think it's been recorded before although I haven't found it yet so that's that's my goal at least. I want to try to get that, you know, the little notch on the damage ink belt. <laughs> and we're coming close already. This right here was seven hundred or eight hundred thousand each. I think I think uh, most of the attacks that we recorded these were all from yesterday. And within an hour and a half time, we had eight or ten different attacks in the chat that people had done. And that would they were just doing them and posting them. This is not a collection from several days before. And as these collectors start to fill up, because people are going to gem their collectors, because right now you have the one gem uh, for each collector, so it's seven gems for your gold, seven gems for your elixir if you're a town hall uh, ten or eleven. Yeah, so and, and those collectors will fill up fa faster than people can empty them usually. So here's Dave. 
Uh, Dave has now made it to Town Hall 9. Uh, quickly, too. Max out Town Hall 8 really quick. Really good player in Town Hall 8. Now he's making that transition to Town Hall 9. Already got a level 4 queen. So he's pushing ahead in 9 real fast. Using the Dragaloon. And th this is a little bit spammy. <laughs> a little bit of a spammy attack. But the dragons usually are. And he manages to put a, a big line of dragons in. Put a big line of balloons behind him. And they just basically plowed right over this Town Hall 9. If you have a big square base like this then quite often you can you can put a big line of dragons in and they won't end up grouping up and go around the outside which is one of the downfalls to the dragon is that if you don't funnel with them properly they will all go around the outside and as tanky as they are they can get beat up if they get in big clusters and go around the outside but as you see here they went right down in a straight line through the middle of the base the balloons lasted until almost the very end of the braid now he's just got a couple of defenses left that actually can damage dragons Got the wizard tower left that doesn't really damage dragons too much. Got three archer towers left and they, they won't do too much. Uh, being that there's nothing around them to really slow the dragons down. So another big raid. And for Town Hall 9 to get a, to get 500,000 of each and uh, almost 3,000 Dark Elixir. That's a pretty good raid for Town Hall 9. Every Town Hall you go up you can expect about 250,000 more in Elixir and in Gold. So Town Hall 8 you can expect about 250 to 300 as, as a good raid. Town Hall 9, and now, now granted, yes, you will find a lot bigger if you're patient enough and, and next about 50 times. But Town Hall 9, you can, you're going to find raids in, in the five to 600,000. Uh, Town Hall 10, you're going to find, you will find raids around 700,000 each. And in Town Hall 11, you're going to find the eight and 900,000, and maybe even, if you're one of the lucky ones, find that million dollar gold, million dollar, <laughs> million dollar gold. That's, that's not real. <laughs> that's not real. Okay, so stay tuned for the second video. We have it coming out right now. Uh, we're, I'm actually going to finish recording it as part of this video, but we're going to break it up into two different segments and send you guys two different videos just to make it easier to, for you guys to watch. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.